Hello guys, this is Ajay. So today's session is about uh, Python installation. So let me explain how how it will be happen. So first of all, you need to open a any Chrome any browser that you are using. So I have I am using Chrome browser, so I have used it. I have opened it. So just go to a new new folder and just click Python download. Just click Python download and hit enter. So simply click this download Python icon. After clicking that, there is a downloads icon here. So simply click on it. After clicking on it, so you will be in here. So basically. You need to download 3.10.9 version. I'm going to repeat again 3.10.9 version. You can see this here 3.10.9. Okay. You need to click on this. Okay. Click on that and just make sure whether it is showing 3.9, 3.10.9 or what. And then scroll a little bit down. So here you can able to see the all types of versions. So, if you are a Mac user, then simply click this icon, Mac OS 64-bit Universal 2 Installer. If you are using Windows, then you have two versions: Windows Installer 32-bit, Windows Installer 64-bit. So, if your computer or laptop is 32-bit supporting system, so you need to click on this. If it is supporting 64-bit, you need to click on this. So, some of some of you might don't know that, like whether your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit. So in that case, you simply just bottom here, just click, click, type, type here to search option. So just type here settings, settings and then there will be a settings option here. Click on it and then click on system. After clicking on system, just go at the end of this and you will get a about page. Okay. About page. After clicking on it. So here you can see that system type. So here it is clearly mentioned the 64 bit because it is 64 bit. Since my computer is 64 bit, so it is showing 64 bit. If it is showing 32 bit, then you need to download the 32 bit version. I hope you understand. Okay. So right now my computer is 64 bit. I'm just clicking on Windows installer 64 bit, and it will it will start downloading. Okay. So let's wait for a minute. It will be completed. Minor, please, once again, I'm repeating. Whoever using Mac, you can simply click on this Mac OS 64 bit. And whoever using Windows, Windows, then there are two options. One is 32 bit, and second one is 64 bit. So you need to click on the respective link that supports your laptop or computer. Okay. And you can find those uh, 32 bit or 64 bit in your settings that I have shown uh, just right now. Okay. Just wait for a few more seconds. The download is almost. Okay, guys, the download has been completed. So you need to simply click on this icon and just sh click show in folder, which means it will directly take you to the downloads folder. Okay. It will directly take you to the downloads folder. So this is the file. Make sure whether it is 3.10.9 or not. So this is the file that you have to download it. Download. After downloading, just go to the downloads folder and you will find this file. So simply double click on this file. Okay. Simply double click on this file. Please give me a minute. It is taking time. Okay. After coming, after coming this, coming to this pop-up, so you need to click on customize installation. I'm showing it once again. You need to click customize installation. Okay. Customize installation. Just click on it and please click every, every tick box. Please click all the tick boxes. Okay. Whatever the tick boxes that you are viewing, please click all the tick boxes. So some, some of you might don't have this 
uh, like by default it will be untick and you cannot be ticked this for all users which means you, you if you are not the admin of this uh, computer which means like if you are using any com like company's laptop like uh, if you are using your com like your job job purpose laptop so that in that case you might you might don't have permission for this thing so that's not a problem but if you, if you have any like tick whatever the icons that you can tick okay so in my case it is my own laptop so i can check all the boxes so i am checking after that click next and then you need to check this install python 3.10 for all users again some of you might don't have this option like it will be showing for you but you cannot able to tick that option so in that case you simply ignore it okay just after clicking it it will by default will check this pre compiled standard library and then you need to click on this add python to environment variables i am repeating once again you need make sure it is definite that you should click this add python to your environment variables so which means in final you need to check the first five icons first five so some of you might don't have the option to check for the first one so you can ignore it that's not a problem okay after doing all these things just click on install and it will ask you for a privilege like it will you it will give you a pop up simply click on s on that pop up so since it started downloading but i have already 3.10 i have already downloaded this version so that's why i am cancelling it okay okay boys in this way you you can able to download the python so after downloading you can simply click type here to search and you can type python so it will get okay you will get this all python tell python versions okay okay that's it guys this is the process to download the python version 3.10.9 i hope everything is clear thank you